How's it going, brothers? Uh, so I got today the uh, LG V20. Oh man, uh, to me that's like probably my favorite Android phone or or phone ever. Uh, I already did the unboxing uh, this morning. I couldn't wait, and I got the phone activated and all that. But I still want to give you guys uh, the experience of at least you know pretending that it was the first time that I opened the box. I'm gonna show you everything that comes in the box. I'm going to take a look at the phone, try it on, um, just play with the phone for a little bit and show you uh, kind of like a general look of the uh, interface and operating system. So without further ado, uh, let's pretend we're unboxing the uh, LG V20 for the first time. Okay, brother. So, so here's a look at the box. Uh, to be honest, uh, the box is uh, pretty plain. Doesn't really offer much information. Just a V20 here. And on the back, they just uh, mention what's included in the box. So let's go ahead and open this. Like I said, this is pretending, pretending, guys. Um, so uh, life's, life's good when you play more. That's uh, their uh, motto or their logo. And when you open the box, check this out. Uh, you open like this, and it opens one more time. Uh, and this is a really, really nice uh, presentation. Uh, kind of like a kit. Nice presentation. You get the phone here on the left. In the middle right here, you get the uh, connector to charge the phone, the USB data cable, and right here you get the battery. Now, like I said, you know, I already uh, turned on the phone for the first time and activated the phone, so the battery, it's not there. It's inside of the phone. So if you get your phone for the first time, the battery's gonna be there. Now, uh, like I said, next, uh, we see right here the uh, USB cord, which is a flat USB cord. And then right here, we see the uh, connector to charge the phone. All right, so now we close that. And we're going to take a look here at the uh, star of the show, which is uh, our LG V20 in the uh, silver color. And of course, you're going to get your instructions and all that. Uh, we're not going to look at that. I'm going to put this uh, back here and let's uh, take a closer look at the phone okay so here is the uh super super nice uh, good looking lg v20 like i said i got in the uh, silver color i believe the other color is kind of like a dark gray and to be honest with you the reason why i decided to get this one is because i don't know i feel like they have been advertising and showing so much just the uh dark gray color and i thought why not you're getting something different something that people are not showing all the time of. so i'm assuming the other one is the most uh, popular color but to be honest with you the silver looks super super nice wow take a look at that beautiful beautiful massive 5.7 inch screen size so let's go ahead and switch cameras and i can give you guys a close-up when I look around the body of the phone, turn it on for the first time or for the second time, I guess. And I kind of give you guys a, a tour of the uh, operating system and the interface. Okay, brother. So here's a look at the phone. When I bring it close, uh, we see the uh, dual cameras on the back. I believe one is a 16 megapixel sensor. The other one is a 8 megapixel wide angle. And I believe this right here is the uh, laser uh, system for the autofocus uh, we see there two LED flash uh, right here we see the uh, fingerprint scanner and power bottom uh, we see the Verizon logo right here uh, V20 at the bottom and then uh, looking at the bottom of the phone we see here the uh, speaker uh, USB port type C microphone and yes yes my friend now uh, 3.5 millimeter audio jack to be honest with you, I'm sick of all of these phones without the jack. Uh, with the audio port, everything is so, so easy. You don't have to worry. You know, you get in your car uh, or you are at home or whatever. You don't have to freaking worry about uh, some stupid adapter. So you can go ahead and connect your headphones on. So thumbs up to LG for providing the uh, audio port. Uh, right here on this side, we see the... Uh, it's kind of like a switch or a bottom, I guess. So you can get access to the, in the internals, to get access to the battery, the SIM card, and my micro SD card. We're going to open that later. I'll show you guys how. 
So right here on the top we see the uh, IR blaster. Yes, IR blaster, man. Uh, it's been a while. I think uh, I want to say since we got the uh, V10 and I think the Samsung Galaxy S6. Uh, around that time uh, was the last time that I saw a phone with IR blaster, and I used to use the IR blaster a lot to control the TV, the volume, and all that. So this is really really cool. I really appreciate this all. We see a microphone right here. Now going to this other side, we see right here the uh, volume bottom. And as you guys can see, this is kind of like a, well, it's it's all metallic around the phone. And the back, I don't know if it's plastic, but it looks metallic. Uh, but I'll let you guys uh, see that when I open the phone. Up. So looking at the front, we see this uh, really beautiful LCD massive 5.7 inch screen size uh, right here on the phone it's the uh, dual cameras super excited with the dual cameras uh, check out this uh, LG logo right there I'll take a look at how small how thin this uh, this is here the bottom part and the top part that makes the phone look super super nice uh, I hate when they make phones and the top of the bottom of the phone are like super thick so to give you guys an idea, for example, I have right here the uh, LG G5. Uh, the LG G5, at least the bottom part, it's uh, thicker. The top part is black, but it's still thick. And uh, you know what? Uh, let's uh, let's take a look at the uh, inside of the phone quick. There's so much reflection because of the color on this phone. So hopefully the video turns out good. So I'm gonna try to press right here, and that pops open the uh, back of the phone. And this is how it looks like. Uh, yeah, this is not this is not uh, met, uh, metal. It's plastic, but of course, you know, it looks nicer. So I don't care. Um, so that's how it looks like the back plate from the inside. We see made in China right there. Uh, and here's a look at the phone inside. Take a look at the uh, internals for the uh, rear camera, the uh, fingerprint scanner, and power bottom. And right here we see access to the uh, SIM card and micro SD card access. There is a massive uh, 3200 milliamp battery. Alright, so let's go ahead and close this. And you have to kind of like uh, make pressure uh, on the other side too. And there it is, so it's all closed. So let's go ahead and turn it on and give you guys uh, the specs. Alright brother, like I said, you know, I already activated the phone, but at least you're getting the experience to see the uh, boot up animation. So here we go. Nice. There it is. Uh, LG Life is good. Uh, in the meantime, brothers, uh, I'm going to go ahead and look at the uh, specs here from the uh, LG G5. Because I don't know the specs by memory and I don't want to say something wrong. So we have a 5.7 inch screen size 2K or Quad HD. 16 megapixel rear camera like I said. And the other camera it's an 8 megapixel uh, wide angle. Take a look at that beautiful wallpaper. So we go ahead and swipe. I don't have the, uh, the uh, fingerprint scanner activated yet. So that's why I can swipe it to unlock it. So continuing here with the specs, uh, 4 gig of RAM, Snapdragon 820, 3200 milliamp battery. Those are pretty much the main specs. Uh, IPS LCD display, uh, 513 ppi or pixel density Corning Gorilla Glass 4. And Android operating system 7.0 Nougat. Uh, those are the main specs and let's uh, take a quick tour here around the phone uh, as you guys know the uh, V10 and the V20 now support the uh, dual uh, screen uh, the secondary screen that we have right here on the top we're gonna ignore the phone call uh, so if we swipe right here you get the uh, notifications uh, you continue swiping down and you get access to the quick settings and take a look at that really cool 3D animation there. And here's the access to the uh, main settings of the phone. There's so much to see about this phone that obviously, you know, I'm not going to show anything right now because, you know, this is just giving you guys the first look after getting the phone outside of the box and all that. Uh, so I customize 
the uh, the name of the phone right there. I put the name of my channel, Corrigan Komodo. And you can change that. Uh, here's a look at the uh, app drawer, which it was not activated when I received the phone. So you can activate or deactivate the app drawer. There's apps, there is a widget. And then right here at the bottom, we see the uh, uh, recent applications, back and home. Here's a quick look at the uh, dialer. But man, I am so, so happy with this phone. Just the look of the phone uh, in general, the feeling. The phone is actually really, really light. It doesn't feel heavy like the iPhone 7 Plus, which I do have too. Uh, this thing is super, super light. Uh, the, the screen is beautiful. To be honest with you, this is the first time that I own an LCD display. And the reason why I never liked LCD is because to me the colors look like a washout or not. They don't pop like AMOLED or Super AMOLED display. But in this case, LG did something really, really good because the colors look super, super nice. So, uh, here's a look at, um, I don't know, some folders. If we go this way, I got more apps here, another screen. And if I go this other way, uh, you get the uh, Smart Bulletin. Uh, the first one is the calendar uh, you get right here the uh, LG health which is already tracking my steps uh, there it is the uh, quick remote so you can go ahead and program the uh, IR blaster to control TV and there is a uh, music this phone is huge huge with music uh, uh, there's a really really good uh, software uh, to control uh, the levels of the audio and uh, I have not tried uh, using uh, headphones yet but my understanding is that when you connect headphones to the phone oh man you will not believe your ears so uh quick look here at the uh, camera which is the main attraction of this phone there's a wide angle and here's the uh, regular angle and to be honest with you i I'm, i don't think i'm planning on using the regular camera i think i'm going to be using this in the wide angle the whole time both the uh, front and the rear camera uh, check out the uh, front camera. The front camera, that's the uh, that's, that's the regular angle, which is wide. It's pretty wide. Check this out when I click on the other one. Oh my god, that's so freaking wide. So pretty much you have a GoPro in your hands with you all the time when you're using either the front or the uh, rear camera. Uh, it takes pictures out really quick, as you guys can see. Super, super quick. But like I said guys, it was just a quick look of this amazing, amazing phone. Alright guys, uh, there you have it, my LG V20 in the uh, silver color. I really haven't seen uh, many of these colors uh, when you look at YouTube, so hopefully I'm one of the few people with this color. Uh, but I really, really like this phone. I like the look. Uh, the phone is actually pretty thin. A uh, beautiful looking phone. Uh, it feels really, really light. The screen is beautiful. Beautiful screen, even though it's uh, LCD, not Super AMOLED. I'm actually really happy with the uh, Super, uh, with the uh, LCD. I'm sorry. Uh, the camera, I mean, uh, absolutely the best by far. Uh, I just love the wide angle, and I just, I just feel like I'm gonna be using that a lot. Like I said, you know, this is the wide angle cameras on this phone. Hey, it's pretty much basically that it like if you're using this right here you know in your hands all the time out so expect many many more videos comparisons and i will see you guys on the next one over and out